Hello, hi, and welcome to the first video of a series of videos uh, are, that are about the topic of safety. Um, call it safety CPUs, call it fail-safe CPUs, call it in German fehlersichere uh, CPUs. Yeah. Um, call it what you want. The general topic is safety. You already see I have two tier portals open. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, in this video, we are just going to talk about the general, what is safety and how do I get it and why do I need it, um, the general basics of it. Of course, we cannot dive in too deep. Um, the topic is really huge, really big. Um, you could visit like a five-day training and you wouldn't know all about it. Um, yeah. In my comments, you ask uh, the question, what is safety? Like, like wh why do I need it? What is it? You ask that sometimes and actually a lot of times and safety gets requested a lot of times. So that's why we're doing this in a couple of videos because the topic is really big and I don't want to miss the basics. I, I don't want to miss important things. Um, yeah. So what is safety in general? Safety in general is the following. Um, I have this little graph open here. Whenever you see something yellow, like all that down here, yellow usually indicates fail-safe stuff, so safety-related stuff. That's that's how it is. If you see an emergency stop button, that's usually with a yellow thing. If you see um, a latch on a door, that's usually yellow, indicating hey, it has something to do with safety. Good. Um, the gray part up here, that is your standard user program. So usually you have your standard user program. Don't, don't look at the yellow stuff right now. I will just delete it. Usually you have your standard user program. You have some functions in the program. Your program is running. Everything is perfectly fine. In the end, you are updating the output. So your PLC turns on motors, turns off motors, turns on lights, turns a, a horn or, or whatever. And then it reruns the program. Right? It, it reruns it. That will take a couple of milliseconds. Here it is like 60 milliseconds for one cycle. So that is one cycle. That is your program. It's just running. Um, yeah. So what is safety? On top of your program, you will have the safety program running. And you will have your safety programming program probably running a couple of times during one execution of your main user program. Every yellow block here is one execution of your safety program. The safety program runs in parallel with your, um, with your standard program. Every once in a while, interrupting your normal program, evaluating everything that is safety related and giving that information back to your standard program. That is the basic idea. Um, a PLC can do that. Like with interrupt routines, you can do that also without having a, an F CPU, without having fail safe stuff. Um, the thing about that is, like in one of my other video, I mentioned uh, cyclic interrupts. You could do similar things with that. The thing is, safety and F CPUs they are especially designed and also standardized. Like there's a number IEC. I have no idea what the number is, but they're specially designed to keep that fail-safe loop alive, the fail-safe program alive. Doesn't matter the conditions. The fail-safe always is very high priority. It should always run. And therefore, we have those pretty expensive, specialized CPUs in fail-safe. <clears throat> we just need them because, well, some parts are more important than the gray stuff. The gray stuff, okay, if that fails, well, it fails. That happens like the hardware is a little broken or uh, your software code is a little bit bad could happen those yellow blocks those yellow blocks they are standardized in hardware inside the cpu the fail safe things and the io modules as well and they are standardized with the components that are connected to it the emergency stop or safety latch doors or whatever and they're also standardized in the program parts in the programming part so you don't need to do too much programming there's a lot of it already taken care of. So there is a lot of standardized stuff going on that you basically don't need to care about. And that is fail safe. That's why they are also a little bit expensive because they guarantee that everything is working fine through standardization. <clears throat> yeah. That also, also saying on the other point, because they are pretty expensive. If you have a small company and a small machine that doesn't need to be 100 percent 
safety related you could do most of this on a very basic level not evaluated not standardized really but you could do all of that just in your standard program just not standardized and not optimized for that purpose right an e-stop still works in a normal program it would be better to put it in a safety program because then you have a guaranteed working and standardized behavior so i said standardized now 10 times i'm sorry for that but that's what it is <clears throat> good so that picture now um, second thing, of course, uh, tier portal, that's always important on the channel here. And of course, I have hooked that up now. I have tier version 15 on the right side here and tier version, uh, no, tier version 15.1 on the right side and tier version 15 on the left side. So that's two different tier portals. Um, because in tier version 15.1, so on the right side, I have installed the additional package. It is a an additional package safety. It's not in the standard installation. You have to additionally install it. Um, in version 15, I do not have it installed. So if I now choose a PLC, just to show you, here is not installed in, in version 15. I take a PLC, I go there and I will take one. You can see it. Those have a little yellow icon. Those have little blue icons. I'll take one with a little yellow icon that says also, this one says 1516F, the F indicates fail safe. We have the same thing here, CPU 1516, no F. The F indicates failsafe that is especially designed for failsafe applications. I'll just take it. You can see it's also yellow up here. It is not yellow here. That's gray. And here it is yellow. That's the failsafe. I'll add that to my project. And I have not installed failsafe in version 15. So what I can see in my hardware configuration, if I click on my CPU, I can still select in properties. In general, I can still see fail safe, but I cannot enable it. You see, I cannot click anywhere. I cannot enable it because it's not installed. So it's just off. It indicates, hey, it's off. It doesn't tell you, but it's, in, it's indicating. In version 15.1, if there is like a license key problem right now, there's a pop-up I have uh, just because of some, I don't know, because I have both versions open right now. Sometimes a license key thing pops up. Don't worry, I've got a valid license. It's just an error in the, in the program. Uh, I'll take the same CPU here. It's the F again. I'll take exactly the same one. And in here, we can already see a difference. In the list here, I have safety administrator. Here, I don't. So that's the first indicator that you have it installed. If you do not have safety administration, it might be because you do not have it installed. And if I go to the hardware, you see here, hardware. And whoop. if I go to the hardware, then you see... Um, that the F capability is from the beginning activated. You see this one here, the checkbox is activated. If you do not want to work with the safety stuff, you can just disable the function and you will have to say yes. And now the safety administrator is also gone. But because I have it installed, I can click it on the right side on my TR version 15.1. 15.0, I can't because I haven't installed it. So here I can just re-enable it. By enabling it, you see I've got safety administration and I will also in program blocks, if you see it on my version 15, there are no additional blocks for safety. In my version 15.1, there are a lot of additional blocks, three blocks right here right now, just for safety applications. That is, those three blocks are basically this yellow stuff that runs next to your OB1 right interrupting your obi-wan every once in a while <clears throat> yeah good now we also need to work with all of this of course there we have now i don't need version 15 anymore that can just go away yeah i want to save it um that can just go away now um and we have somehow the safety administrator we can do a lot of settings in here Right. We can do a lot of settings. It looks very complicated, very complex. Oh my goodness. And frankly speaking, it is pretty complicated. You have to work yourself into the topic. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, it's called engineering. Of course, it takes some effort. Also in the hardware, we have now um, under fail safe, we have a lot of parameters that we can set here. And we will have a lot more parameters 
in the I.O. modules that we are going to use, especially for safety applications. Um, but yeah, that I will explain in the next video. We will look at the hardware configuration, especially for safety uh, hardware, uh, for fail-safe hardware, because there's a lot to consider. Um, if you want to read up on fail-safe, I put a link in the description below to the official Siemens guideline for it. You see this? There's an official Siemens guideline. That's where I got the picture from the that I showed earlier. Uh, it's like a 50 page document. You can read all about safety there, how to use it. I'll put that link in the description below. Um, there's going to be two other links in the description below. People that have been following my channel know those links. Of course, the one is our forum that I have set up and I should actually look into it more. I am so sorry. Uh, but yeah, there's people actively participating in here. Great. I love you guys. Awesome. That's the license thing that I meant earlier. Please install a valid license. I, I've got one. Um, yeah. Um, and of course, the last link, again, people that have been following my channel, they know all about it. I have set up a GoFundMe because there's a lot of effort I'm putting into those videos uh, where people just toss money in my direction. That's awesome. I like that. That's, that's like, <laughs> mm, so delicious. <laughs> uh, thanks, Antonio. Thanks, Andreas. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Awesome. If you want, toss some coin in my direction. If not, don't care about it. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Uh, if you want more videos, just check out my channel on the top right or top left. There should be somewhere an exclamation point in this video. Just click on it. Check out the playlist that I have on TF Portal. Check out everything there is. Put a comment in the comments below and stay safe and stay healthy. And I'll see you in the next videos, which are all about safety. Okay, I'll see ya. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.